अध्यक्ष रेजोल्यूशन अध्यक्ष आंध्र प्रदेश असेंबली एक्सप्रेस सीरियस कंसर्न अबाउट द डिस्ट्रेसिंग सिचुएशन प्रिवेलिंग इन द स्टेट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश द असेंबली अफॉर्म्स that the erstwhile state of andhra pradesh was bifurcated in unjust and inequitable manner against the wishes of the majority of the people the fact that bifurcation would cause serious economic and financial hardships and unjust balance from jobs perspective to the successor state of andhra pradesh was completely ignored at the time of bifurcation andhra pradesh inherited nearly 59% of the population debt and liabilities of the erstwhile andhra pradesh but only 47% of the revenues the 14th finance commission estimated that post devolution revenue deficit for andhra pradesh for the 5 year period between 2015 to 20 would be rupees 22113 crores and for the same period the telangana would would have a post devolution revenue surplus of 118678 crores the assembly is deep the assembly is deeply concerned that the revenue deficit for the first for the past 5 year period reached a whopping 66362 crores which is three times the amount estimated by the finance commission the assembly is aware of the fact that hyderabad emerged during the last several decades as a super economic powerhouse as is the case with several other capital cities in the country of the 57000 crores of software exports from the andhra pradesh for the year 2013-14 to give you an example hyderabad city alone revenue for 2015-16 financial year of telangana stood at 14411 whereas the same for andhra pradesh was a mere 8397 to draw a contrast the assembly recalls that the parliament assured the nation especially the people of andhra pradesh number of development interventions investments in direct financial assistance to mitigate the economic hardships the assembly expresses its disappointment that the promises made in the parliament by the ruling as well as the opposition parties while bifurcating the state have remained unfulfilled leading to a great financial and social distress in the state the debt of the residuary state was 97000 crores at the time of bifurcation loan is projected to be 20000 crores per annum in addition to the repayment of principal to the tune of another 20000 crores further there are huge contingent liabilities in the form of guarantees given for the loans availed by the state government entities the assembly is concerned that the employment generating potential has dropped so drastically that our children are leaving the state scouting for jobs the assembly recognizes that the grant of special category status would mean higher grants in aid to the state government the per capita grants to the special category states is rupees 5573 whereas andhra pradesh received only 3428 the grant of special category status assumes significance because the states that have special category status alone enjoy special industrial incentives such as income tax exemption exemptions pertaining to gst other concessions etc the assembly reiterate reiterates that special in incentives are vital for our agrarian state as it would enable rapid industrialization leading to improved employment opportunities for the youth and the overall development of the state the assembly urges that the state requires super speciality hospitals the state requires five star hotels the state requires manufacturing industries the state requires high value service industries such as it state requires premier institutions of higher education and research to transform the economic architecture of the state which is possible only with special category status the assembly has also noted that one of the ostensible reasons for not granting special category status to andhra pradesh was the recommendation of the 14th finance commission this house is aware that the distinguished member of the 14th finance commission com- commission professor abhijit sen explicitly stated that the 14th finance commission did not recommend the abolition of the special category status the assembly has noted the has noted the fact that the union cabinet which met on march 2 2014 had resolved to accord special category status to andhra pradesh and instructed the then planning commission to take expeditious action to implement the decision the assembly expresses its concern 
that due to lack of persuasion, the issue remained without any action in the Planning Commission until its abolition on 1st January 2015 when Niti Ayo came into existence. The Assembly expresses its firm opinion there are, that there are no impediments whatsoever to conferring SES on Andhra Pradesh. The Assembly has noted that in the history of this country, no other state was bifurcated with a precondition that special category status would be accorded to compensate the economic and financial hardships such bifurcation would entail, which was supported by both ruling and opposition parties that had representatives from all the states. The Assembly reiterates that this was also the first time that the state demanding bifurcation took away the capital that contributed significant revenues while the residuary state was denied the capital city. The Assembly reaffirms that grant of special category status is an essential imperative to compensate the state for economic and financial deprivation to help launch it on the path of development trajectory. Considering that special category status is essential lifeline for Andhra Pradesh, the Andhra Pradesh Assembly resolves to request the Government of India to confer special category status on Andhra Pradesh with all the attendant financial benefits and industrial incentives without further delay. The Assembly also resolves to request the Central Government to fulfill all the provisions and assurances relating to the Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act 2014 in letter and in spirit.